So men are often expected to be the primary breadwinners and play less of a role in the emotional or physical caretaking of a family. But what if these roles were occasionally reversed? Yeah, this morning we'll be discussing the ways in which families and by extension society can be positively impacted by normalizing men as caregivers. Now, a series of reports produced by the New America Foundation and funded by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation examine caregiving experiences of nearly 3,000 men as fathers, as caregivers to relatives, and in their professional careers. The goal is to understand men's attitudes, beliefs, behaviors, desires, and motivations around caregiving, and key findings in the most recent reports reveal that caregiving encourages men to bond with children and family. So they said during the pandemic, even more men are shedding the breadwinner identity and embracing the role of primary caretaker. It's many say it's immensely rewarding. Um, and they said a variety of men during the pandemic rated showing love and affection to their children and teaching the child about life as very important. Yeah. It's very important. Incredibly important. They also say black fathers and caregivers work to correct the absent black father. Mm. And it says the absent black father stereotype has persisted despite decades of research showing the contrary. A portrait of caring black men surveyed a number of black fathers and male caregivers, finding that black fathers and caregivers actively participate in and value care work. And other findings include? 69% of black fathers say they comfort, soothe, and emotionally support their children. 67% make meals and feed their kids daily. 86% assist family members with daily activities. Almost two thirds report performing medical related tasks. Overall, 89% of black men surveyed say they find care work satisfying. 87% feel respected in their roles and 57 say that the time needed to meet work demands makes it difficult to fulfill their family or personal obligations. And I think that's that's the balance, you know, because it's, it's finding the balance because on one hand they're saying the women can't pursue the career because they have to be home and then they're saying the men not at home because them out there earning the money. So we have to make the two things meet now, somewhere. Plus there are many fathers out there, husbands out there, who really look after their family. Yeah. And, and they are caregivers. Um, and there, you have some men who are caregivers for their parents. Yeah. When, when the parents... Absolutely. Parents get a little old and they're not as mobile as they could yeah. be. Yeah. And you have men who, um, you know, go out and, and put out. Mm -hmm. They also say families benefit from active male caregivers. So men's experiences of care work can be life-changing and increase their desire to share care responsibilities equally with women. Mm -hmm. Now it says 91% of respondents and domestic labor should be equally shared between men and women. 91% um, of responses said care and domestic labor should be equally shared between men and women. Like women, they too have a caring instinct and can equally succeed at care tasks, um, which is what Dela was saying, the balance. You, you, you kind of need, so all right, I will come home early today and I will yeah. you know, look after Ray, 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 and you come home early one day, you look after so and so. Yeah. I've never thought that there was a role for a man and a role for a woman specifically. I mean, we do have physical differences. Right. But if we married and I am a good cook and she's not necessarily the best the one. Best one. Why everybody in the house right. have to keep and I go a doctor? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I don't see this thing that because she feed me, she must wash and she must iron. It's like me, me love iron, me, me iron plenty. You know, I, can't, I don't cook so wonderful. Um, so I've, I've, I've never thought that there was a stereotype that just because me is a man is mm -hmm. me must clean and just because you're a woman is you must wash. I don't believe that. Yeah. I don't believe that yeah. at all. So we can, and Dela said find it perfectly, the balance, find man. the balance, yeah. Right. And, and, and culture is interesting, Nemo. Yeah. Because um, when I discovered that in Nigeria, and, and it might be across the continent, but I know Nigeria for a fact, they have male domestic workers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that people have men in their home that are doing domestic work. 
Now, yeah. in a Jamaica, if you say you have a male, so spank the pants vanish down the face. And, and they love the male domestic workers. Yeah. Like, uh, my friend has one and she is over the moon. Yeah, I know you have male nurses also. Yes. And, and, and stuff like that. So yeah, she I, said, I, they, they work so hard. And, he went, and when she went to Nigeria, there was something new. Shoji's shaking his head like, that's impossible. The male domestic worker, yeah. But in Jamaica, if you go say so, yeah, people go say, we yeah, are this is a female gardener. Yep. They might say, what's she going to do? We need to change up the thing, man. Change up the thing. And there's, this is also important because we've been talking about paternity leave. Paternity leave yes. as opposed to maternity leave. Yes. And, and this is how employers can help enhance family supportive policy, right? Absolutely yeah. never. Because it's again helping the men to find the balance. Because I find a lot of times, and I'm not excusing the men, but we have to look at things in a, in a context. Yep. A lot of times they say, you're not doing, you're not doing, you're not doing. But, but, but we have to also look at what are they doing and how can we help them to, to meet the thing halfway. Because yep. if, you, if, him, if a him appear all of the bills and a him appear yep. work, and him, yep. then... Uh, when you come home, I got tired. Yep, and you saw it on screen, create paid paternity leave, parental leave for men in the workplaces yeah. that support more time. I love flexible work schedules. Yeah. Um, and yeah, help normalize the idea of men as equal and fully capable caregivers to address stigma, create opportunities and job pathways for men entering professional caring professions. And mm. the last one you would have seen is recruit men into caring professions early yeah. through apprenticeships and, and train. training. And if you've been to the physio and you've worked with a male physio, yep. if you men men have that about them, yep. they do. We yep. just don't give them the space to show that they do. And as I said earlier, and that's because it's a stereotype that yeah. you're a female, so you must be a nurse, me is a man, so I must be this, yeah. you know. But no, as I said, you have male nurses, you have um, female farmers. I mean, one time probably that was unheard of. Correct. That you're going to have a female farmer. No, man, that's not her place. Her place is in the kitchen and one bag of foolishness we do all the while. That makes absolutely no sense. Yeah. Um, I will end by reading this. It said, here is the reality. Before and during the COVID-19 pandemic, men have been significant providers of care work, both within their families and in their careers. In fact, men actively contribute to the care economy. This is good for them, but just as importantly, it benefits women and society broadly. It does. Yeah. So again, I, I go back to what Dal said earlier. Balance. Balance. We need right. some male household workers in Jamaica. Yeah. So the first game of the day has ended. Cameroon, unfortunately, losing to Switzerland, one nothing. Have mercy. Yeah. Sheffield, all right? Yeah, later on, another. The third game of the day, we'll see another African team. Ghana will uh, bow into action. And then at 2 o'clock, uh, Brazil uh, will come up against Serbia. Sheffield, come out in them Cameroon shirt this morning. Yeah, yeah. 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 There you go. But it is the World Cup and we expect that you're going to have... The ball is around. ...prizes and surprises <laughs> and all kinds of I'll stuff. All kinds of ice. And the surprise them don't done. Trust me, them, them, I've never seen a World Cup that you don't have. Huge. Shaka, a shaka, a shaka. 1950, a stadium built in Brazil called the Maracanã. Hosted the final, Brazil, mm -hmm. in the final against Uruguay. Uruguay. And Uruguay win. Correct. <laughs> One of the biggest Shaka. shockers in the history Stadium got quiet. of the World Cup. <laughs> 200,000 people at the game. Yeah. And was the only one Uruguayan. Yes. Everybody else <laughs> yes. from, from Brazil. Yes. So let's see what happens. All right. We oh come back God. with 10 minutes. Yes. <laughs>